Hello and welcome once again. Uh, today we're going to discuss a major recall to one of the models, Hyundai, Tucson's uh, vehicles, and they're from 2016, 2018, and then 2020, 2021. Uh, there's been a problem with the computers, and there seems to be a short involved in the computer that will cause a fire. So obviously this is a major concern for any vehicle owner. When there's a major recall, that means there's a chance of injury to a driver or a passenger, or there might be loss or damage to the vehicle. So the problem over here is a computer, which I always, my channel is Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto, and I always talk about schematics, especially computers. You have many, many connectors going to a computer. And this, if this is a diagram, you have about 200 connectors. Inside of any computer, which is called the printed circuit board, which is the components, these are the components on, on any printed circuit board, whether this is for body control module, whether this is for power train control module, whatever the module is for, air conditioning module, there are components on them. There are no fuses over here on here, on these boards. The fuses are in the fuse panel. So therefore, they're claiming that there is a computer problem that will cause a short, that will cause a fire in, a fire in the car. And they stress the point, they want the vehicles to be parked outside. Why? Obviously because if there's a fire and you're gonna bring it to the shop, the whole shop will be a fire. So therefore, they wanna play it safe and they wanna leave the vehicles out parked outside. Now, we have to understand they're saying there's a short in the computer. What's a computer? So, a computer is a chip or mic microprocessor with memory and microcontrollers. And then, like I said, there's tw about 200 or maybe more uh, connectors. Now, you can't put a fuse for every connector. That's 200 fuses. You can't do that. It's not done like that. So, you want to have least parts available. So, therefore... As you can see, <clears throat> there are components on one side and on the other side of printed circuit boards, which make up computer modules and connectors. Now, connectors going here or connectors here, the module itself, especially uh, 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 powertrain control module, the main board is usually sealed off. And it's sealed off in a metal metal. Uh, a cabinet uh, of comprising a, a heat sink and that's to take the heat away from the printed circuit board one two factors that affect the printed circuit board is the heat the components do not like heat chips these are called chips these black things with the pins coming out these are chips they do not like heat transistors do not like heat so therefore we have to dissipate the heat away from them so you have around it, and this is the inside, obviously. The outside of it is like a metal shielding, which is enclosed and sealed so nothing can get through. So like we said, heat is, a, is an enemy and vibration is an enemy. Other thing is liquids are an enemy. Remember, if you spill water on a printer circuit board or a liquid, it is conductive. Therefore, that can cause a short. Now... Again, going back to their a reasoning that they're saying that there's a short in the computer and now they have to extend this warranty to another almost 500,000 vehicles. Hard for me to believe that there's a short in the same point on all these modules. Now, sometimes you have where sometimes, unfortunately, you can have, like I said, there's a seal around it but you still have cables extensions going to the extender the connector that's not sealed off completely now water can seep in or liquids because if this is next to let's say power steering fluid or a reservoir which contains a liquid and that liquid is leaking it can make its way upon or onto sometimes the printed circuit board and that will lead to corrosion obviously so it's not clear from now what they mean by a short on computer boards. 
Now, let's say you have a short. Let's go ahead by the reason they do have a short. There's one thing that I always go through, and my channel is Joe and Electronic Schematics for Auto, and my other one is Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph. I always talk about schematics, I always talk about computers, and I did videos upon, upon these things, about modules. They have a, uh, I always go over the fuses and the fuse rating. So let's say over here, this is 10 amps. Over here, and it goes to the computer. This is the malfunction switch that com comes on, indicator light that comes on in your dashboard. Let's say instead of 10 amps, they put the wrong rating according to them, to their reasoning. Let's say instead of 10 amps to protect the fuse, right? Let's say it should be, it should be uh, um, uh, 8 amps or 7 amps or th something like that. If that 7 or 8 amps is like that, that means it'll blow quicker. If the fuse rating should be above 10 amps, let's say it should be 15 amps, 17 amps, actually 10 amps or uh, 15, 20 amps, right? It'll allow more current to go in. So when you increase the rating of the current, you'll allow more current to go in, right? And at the same time, the fuse will blow. So two factors are involved, the low rating of the fuse and the high rating of the fuse the higher the rating of the fuse instead of 10 amps it'll go to 20 amps that means it can allow 18 amps more current sometimes you don't want that you don't want to allow more current then you're asking for trouble if you're going for 10 amps and you're going to make it at 8 amps you're safer why because you don't want too much current to go you're clipping it at 8 amps that means anything above 8 amps the fuse will blow. So they have to change their fuse rating according to them. Fine. Now the question arises, why can't you change the fuse? If you if they if they say the fuse is the wrong rating and they have to change or upgrade it to a different fuse rating, current rating, why can't the, the they tell it and then the owner of the vehicle do it? That's because they'll still be liable. They want to do it themselves and they want to make sure that they're not liable if anything happens. Once they do it, they're off they're off the spot. So in case a fire does happen, God forbid, then if anything happens like that, hey, we did our part. We acknowledge the fact that there is a problem. We gave you warning and we told you to come in with your vehicle. But if you take it upon yourself to do it and something happens, they are not liable. That's a part of recalls. So try to pay attention to these things. Like let's say if you have a problem with it, call the dealership. There's a, there's a place on, online to put in your VIN number and then you'll see if it's a recall. Actually, this is going for the uh, electronic brake modulator system, which is a computerized uh, system for activating the brakes, the ABS brakes. Um, so anyway, like I said, everything is computerized, everything is electronics, but this is only one sample of many, many modules that are, that are out there, like I've spoken about in the videos that I make, of what's incorporated or what's composed of the computer problem that they're talking about. Remember, a computer board will have the components on it, the fuses are not here, the fuses are external in the fuse panel box. Like, so therefore, like we gave this example, or we gave these examples, if this is the if this is the computer that they're talking about, if you know my channel, I talk about diagrams and diagnostics of electronics. Each one has a purpose to it. Each connector has a purpose to it for uh, for a, a, <clears throat> a different system. So let's say these two will be for starting charging system. These will be for the air conditioning system. This is for the anti-lock brake system. These, all these systems are operated or controlled by the printed circuit board called the powertrain control module. He's the brains. So therefore, if you have any problems with this computer, you have to have some protection to it. What will cause a change in current if you change, if you if you strip wires, sometimes you st you strip the strands on it. It'll change the resistance. If you change the resistance, then guess what? You're changing the current that's allowed to go through it. That's a hazard for a fire. So keep in mind when you strip wires, 
Keep in mind, when you change fuses, they have to be the correct rating. And that's why I always stress the point. On every video, I always go over the fuse rating and I say, that's a high fuse rating for this. This is a low fuse rating for this. Pay attention to always the fuse rating of these things. So anyway, like I said, please go to my channel. And if you have a, a, a recall for, for uh, Hyundai vehicles, this is not for Santa Fe or Sonatas. It is for the Tucson uh, SUVs. So of those years that I explained, so get in touch or go online and go to that website, please. It's a, a, a fire hazard to a car. Obviously, is the worst thing that can happen. So go to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics for Auto. You'll see hands-on videos of how to measure relays in circuit, not take relays out of circuit. Thanks for watching. I'd like to see you in the next video.